Are we doing that for your cameras? Jay? We'll be ready in two seconds. Two seconds. You got it. You ready, Bolton? I'm good. All right. Well, what's the first question? I mean, we, we knew coming in, when we played them at Oral Roberts, they shot really well there, too. So we knew coming in that they were a good shooting team. But, yeah, I mean, especially in that first half, they came out blazing. Um, but I think it was just sort of a challenge to us to, to pick up our defense and to sort of change what we were doing. And, and I think we did a good job of that down the stretch. I mean, it wasn't always pretty, but we just had to kind of gut it out. What started to swing the tide there for you guys? It seemed like they were able to just keep that lead at six sort of the whole way. What sort of helped you guys break through and allowed you to pull, pull it out? Um, I think for us, you know, it, it kind of felt like we were trading baskets there for a little while. Um, stayed at six to nine um, for what seemed like a really long time. I think down the stretch we just focused in, make sure, uh, made sure we had to get stops at the right time, um, and knew that we just needed one, and then we got to come down, score, get another one. It was just a step-by-step -step process, um, and I think we did a really good job focusing on that, just getting one stop at a time. Um, in the end, it worked out. Uh, Kira, you had like 16 points in the fourth quarter. What kind of clicks for you late in the fourth? You know, I mean, I think it was it was teammates finding me the. <clears throat> openings, getting me the ball, um, and just, you know, not wanting to lose, to be honest. <laughs> it was sort of just, it's now or never at this point. Um, yeah, but I think I think we did a good job continually moving the ball throughout the whole game, to be honest. Um, but shots just started to fall in the fourth quarter. It felt too, like, especially early for you, the way they were defending, it was hard to, for you even to get shots. Was, what did you notice about what they were doing to try and prevent that? Um, they they do a really good job defending on the drive and defending kind of what we're used to what our kind of our mo is um, and so yeah down the stretch we had to find different ways to score and I think our ball movement really helped us in that you know we were able to pick them apart with off the dribble but then with passes too. What did Coach tell you guys in the first quarter when they pulled out by 15? What, what was she saying to you guys during that timeout? She was pretty fired up, and then oh you came out and hit the three right afterwards and seemed to. Um, I think, you know, being down that much, it's really easy for us to just kind of hang our heads and not for us uh, specifically, but just any team. Um, I think we did a really good job of just not really letting it frustrate us or get rattled. Um, I mean, even things that uh, coaches were saying or uh, just teammates, you know, just we got to just get one stop at a time, come down, score. Um, we know the deficit wasn't just going to be erased just like that. So we had to just take it one step at a time. Um, but yeah, Coach P gets fired up, but <laughs> it kind of lights, lights a fire under us a little bit. So if it works, hey, we'll keep it going. Kira, how valuable, you know, it's a long way to go yet before we start talking about two falls, but at the same time, a game like this at this point in the season, how valuable can it be to have to fight the way you did today? It's, it's really valuable. It's, I mean, these, these gut check wins are, you know, sometimes they're not always pretty, but it is, it's a, it's a test for us and, and it's a good, like, you know, I don't know, teaching us to just rely on each other and trust each other. Um, it really bonds your team together. You know, when everything's going right, it's easy to be best friends, but it's when things start really getting rough and, you know, shots aren't falling, we're turning the ball over, um, that we really need to stick together. And I think that these kind of games help us do that. Chloe, it's, uh, you know, it seemed like you take for today, for example, <coughs> Uh, you could look at the first time you played them and you're down 10 in the fourth quarter, a very similar, you know, even bigger lead that they had on, on you down at Tulsa. But games like that, a uh, pretty good example as well. Even Fort, Fort Wayne last week, the first half didn't go particularly well for you. Is it a quality, a, a, like a, a serious quality of this team where it's just like almost incapable for you to get rattled? Because I haven't seen it yet. And it just seems like that just keeps coming up in situations where you do get tested, you figure it out. Right. Uh, we try not to make this a trend. You know, this isn't exactly the situation we'd like to be in all the time. But, you know, I think I don't really know what doesn't get us rattled. I guess we're just kind of cool, calm. Um, and that, that says a lot about our team. No one, and even people trying to take it upon themselves just to turn a game, we know that that's not going to work. So, like Kira said, just moving the ball, um, getting easy shots, especially those that weren't falling for us in the first half. Um, but just trusting each other and coaches 
um, just our MO throughout the game, and I think that's what helps us a lot. What's the, is the, feel like, are you guys playing under more pressure than you feel like coming into a game like this? Did you feel that at the beginning, or you sort of able to just sort of take all that stuff in stride? Um, I don't know if it was necessarily more pressure, I, but I think we do know, you know, this is a really good opponent. Um, and you do have that going in, knowing that everything's going to be more intense. You know, they're really quick, they're athletic, they're skilled. Um, so I think, I mean, that's something going in that you kind of have to have in the back of your mind always. What kind of change from the first half into the second half, especially the fourth quarter defensively, that helped you kind of stop their three-point barrage that kept coming in the season? Um, I think just in everyone's head, <clears throat> excuse me, we just didn't want it to happen anymore. You know, that's kind of the mindset we had going in. We knew we had to change something or else, you know, the end result wasn't going to be what we wanted. Um, <clears throat> so just at halftime, we just kind of had to refocus, change some things. Um, we see how that turned out. Anything more? Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first and foremost, uh, a big thank you, one, to Sanford Vermillion for sponsoring our, our pink game and, and raising awareness for breast cancer. And thank you to all the, the fans who bid on the jerseys. I'm not sure what they exactly went for uh, to help raise money that stays here locally, um, back to the Dakota Hospital Foundation. So thank you to everyone who helped with that. Uh, thank you, special thank you to Dr. Christy Englund, who came in and was our guest today and, and really, I think, did a great job inspiring our young ladies, of, gave them a message of advocating and a message of hope and perseverance, and then that brings us to our game, and I think there was a lot of perseverance that took place in this game. I thought Oral Roberts certainly came out of the gates, and they started this game, and they were on fire, and we know they're one of the best, one of the top three-point shooting teams in the nation, and and however we broke down and whenever we broke down, they seemed to make us pay. And I think there were 10 of 16 from the three-point arc in the first half. And we tried a couple of different ways to guard them and seemed like each way they were able to find a way to get some open shots and, and capitalize on those. Uh, just really, really proud of, of our young ladies for the toughness that they showed. And, you know, certainly the way that the second half started, uh, didn't necessarily look all that positive for us either, but I thought our young ladies just really played their hearts out and found a way in that second half to really turn it around and really become a, a defensive team in that the third and fourth quarters and especially in the fourth quarter. Um, just really, really proud of the effort that our young ladies showed to come out on top in that game. Questions? Pierre called it a gut check win. <laughs> Awesome. To that. Absolutely. You know, I, I think certainly, you know, our young ladies understand and they know that teams are going to play to the best of their ability and against us and, and have something to shoot for. And yet it's important that you can weather that storm. And there were times, you know, we, I thought we got some good shots or Roberts did a good job of really trying to make life difficult around the rim and try to make us kick it out. Even at that, I thought we got some good looks early. We didn't make many of those opportunities. We dug ourselves a hole at the, on the other end. I think in the first half, we were three for 10 from the arc. They were 10 of 16 from the arc. And yet we were still, still right there. We were in as a three possession game, I think at that point in time, and just felt like we've just got to find a way to get to the point where we're playing at our best. And we were fortunate enough to do that in the fourth quarter. What can you say about Kira individually wow. in that quarter? She scored 16 points. Yeah, she was impressive. Nothing short of that. Here's a kid who, who a young lady who just has so much toughness and so much composure and, and just found a way to will us on both ends. I mean, she scored 16 in the fourth quarter, but at the same time, she's on the other end defending and getting rebounds and tipping shots and making plays. And the scramble that those all of our young ladies played with in the fourth quarter was impressive. And Kira answered when we weren't really making many shots. I don't know how many arc shots she hit in that fourth quarter, probably two of them at that point in time, but just made a lot of things happen for us. I thought early, I mean, really Chloe, whatever you right. needed a shot to really keep the game from totally getting away there. It seemed like Chloe was the one. 
Well, Chloe was the one, and she came, she hit him a couple shots early and hit some tough shots, hit some open threes, and then hit some tough pull-up jump shots to keep us within striking distance, and then tweaked her ankle, and then came back and, and continued to play that way. You, you wonder how, how young ladies are going to be able to perform when, you know, they're obviously not playing at their best. I thought she showed an incredible amount of toughness. So did Hannah Shervin. Both of them go down in the game and sprain, with sprained ankles, and you could tell, you know, at the end of the game that Hannah was still hobbling quite a bit, but she was giving it everything she had to help her team be successful. So a lot of a lot of individual toughness that was shown in, in those scenarios. Uh, I thought Madison McKeever showed a lot of that defensively, made a lot of things happen for us, you know, and, and facilitated a lot of our, our offense. And then there's Allison who just grabbed 10 rebounds. That's all that's all she did. I mean, that's amazing. It's just I think that's just absolutely impressive and has 10 rebounds and six assists. It's just I think so many individual kids make a lot of things happen. Taylor is out there switching ball screens and having to guard perimeter kids who are incredibly athletic and who can shoot and make a lot of things happen. So just a lot of really good stuff that happened during the course of that. Kind of surprised you try to stick with her. Well, Taylor's a young lady who can really move her feet. And we went into a smaller lineup late in the game and we subbed Monica in and we were able to really kind of keep them, get ball pressure and keep them away from the rim. And I thought, you know, that really helped us at, at that point in time as well. And, and Monica might not have scored a whole lot, but she really gave us a presence on the defensive end in, in, at crunch time. Well, in the first half, you know, we're you when you know a team has the ability to really shoot it from the arc, you, you your goal is to get out there and take them take away the arc and and take run them off the line to some extent. That's a challenge to do against Oral Roberts because they can also get to the rim and they can score at the rim really efficiently. So I thought we were doing a good job of keeping them away from the rim at the expense of giving up arc shots, and then we tried different different defenses to try to find ways to get out and get some better ball pressure. And in the end, our, in the second half, and especially in the fourth quarter, you know, our, our ball pressure and our awareness of, of getting out to shooters was a lot better. Undoubtedly, every win is big. Right. This one, doesn't this feel a little bit different, knowing what you had against you to come back like that? Well, it's, I think it shows a lot of a lot of toughness from our young ladies. It shows a lot of composure to be in those situations, you know, and we've been in situations where we've been down before and had to battle back. This one seemed like a little bit bigger deficit than some of them. And, and it does. I think it's it's good for us to really be in a scenario where we have to have to find a way to will will ourselves through it. Things weren't really going our way in a lot of different scenarios, you know, but again, at the end of it, our young ladies got together, they huddled it up, they figured out how they needed to find ways to get stops. They gave us a lot of input and in how they wanted to guard some different actions and did a great job. With that in mind, I mean, given how well things have gone defensively for you over the previous five games, does that give you a little bit more even still now an appreciation for just how difficult it is to do what you did? Over those previous five? Well, I think that that certainly challenges your opponents when they see that, and then they they come in and they're going to find a way to to you know score and score efficiently. And certainly, Oral Roberts did that by spacing the floor and hitting a bunch of arc shots against us. It, it does it, the the fact that our young ladies have continued to battle. I think at the end of the day, Oral Roberts scored it at a 35% clip overall. They shot at a 44% clip from the arc, but only scored it at a 12% clip in the fourth quarter. And I think ultimately, when when our best was needed defensively, our ladies performed at a, at a very, very high level. And if we, we weren't able to do that, we're not able to come out on top. And, and, and so fortunately, our young ladies have found a way to keep getting better defensively. And again, today it didn't seem like that was going to be the way it's be the case, certainly the way the game started. The girls talked about when things weren't going nowhere, their ability to stay positive right. and that role making the comeback. Has that been a trait of this group since they first started or have you seen that develop over the course of the year? Well, I think it's naturally who they they are and their 
their chemistry, their how close they are helps in situations like this. I think they have a very, they have great relationships, but they also have a very, very high level of trust and res they respect each other and trust each other. And so, in looking in their eyes, when we were down in the third quarter and and talking at the time, out saying we we've got plenty of time, one possession at a time. We have plenty of time. We've been here before. We can do this. They're looking at us like, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> they, they, in their minds, they weren't doubting it. And, and again, things didn't necessarily look all that positive, but you can see the, the, the amount of desire that they have. You know, it's hard to say, yes, they have confidence, but there's got to be a level of, okay, now it's time and now we've got to find a way. And I certainly believe when you look in their eyes and you see that, it's something that speaks volumes of how tight-knit they are, you know, in, in different scenarios during the course of the game.